Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Spencer and today I'm going to be walking you through how prices are determined on a decentralized exchange. Before we get started, there are two key terms we need to go over. First is trading pair. A trading pair are any two crypto assets that are traded against one another. Uh, this could also be called traded with one another uh, or traded for one another. Now, of course, this trading is controlled by a smart contract. Next is liquidity. Now, liquidity is the amount of tokens held in a smart contract to allow for trading, and it's expressed in US dollars. All right, so how are swap prices determined? Swap prices are determined by a very simple formula. This is the number of tokens Y divided by the number of token X, and this corresponds to the amount of the two tokens in the pool. So the first thing that we need to figure out is which token is X and which token is Y. The best way that I figure out to do that is I label token X as whatever token you touch first when you're moving through the pool. So if we were to trade BNB for BUSD, we would be depositing BNB and removing BUSD. That means we're touching BNB first, so we're moving this way through the pool. That would make BNB X and BUSD Y. Inversely, if we were to deposit BUSD and remove BNB, we would be traveling this way through the pool. That would make BUSD X and BNB Y. Now, let's do an example. But before that, we need to put some tokens in our pool. This is where liquidity comes into play. Let's assume for the sake of this example that we have $10,000 in USD worth of liquidity. And because we're smart traders, we went and checked Binance Scan. We found out that BNB is $500 right now. Well, for us to break this out evenly into our liquidity pool, we would need 10 BNB and 5,000 BUSD. If we uncover our examples, you can see that if we take the Y value, which is the amount of BUSD in the pool, and divide it by the X value, which is the amount of BNB in the pool, we come out to 500, which is the correct price of BNB. If we move the other way through the pool, this way, we would take BNB as our Y value and BUSD as our X value. And you can see that that comes out to be 0 0.002 BNB per BUSD. And that's it. That's how prices are determined on a decentralized exchange.